So I've been having pretty shit sleep lately, not gonna lie. Focus on the negative comment. send that video to mom and be like oh my god look what i'm getting done today she is going to freak good morning everyone i think i'm starting the video in the exact same spot as last time um happy monday i just woke up not long ago well actually peter has work all day this week so he woke up really early and i try to wake up with him at like 5 50 and i was like that's not happening. So I went back to bed until like eight o'clock. Um, I uploaded a photo last night that got lots of love. So thank you so much. I'm definitely going to have to upload more actual posts like that. I do upload stories every now and again, like Insta vs. Reality. Um, I did get a few DMs saying, oh my God, I did not realize your stomach actually looked like that. And it's like... What did you think it looked like? Like rock hard abs or like some firm stomach? Like absolutely not. I'm not the skinniest person in the world. But even if, even when I was at my leanest, which is probably like January this year, I would have to say, I'm going to go see if I can find a photo from my archives on Instagram. Cause I feel like I have been a lot leaner. Um, I would have still looked like that underneath my tights. I did get one message, uh, one comment out of like 300 positive ones. And it's funny how you um, focus on the negative comment, even though I got like 300 plus positive comments. I didn't realize that it was from a guy. And they basically said like, this post is toxic. Like I get where they were coming from, but it also, it wasn't realistic. It didn't make sense. I didn't delete the post. So if you wanna have a quick snoop, you can. But basically what they were saying is, hold on, let me just get the comment. If you're so harsh about bodies, then you're absolutely toxic as F. It would be a nightmare if you raise children into adults. What don't you act? Why don't you act like normal people and just accept who you are rather than disgrace human bodies and expect this bullshit? And then after lots of comments from you guys, <laughs> he then just started like, I think he has issues, like he's obviously going through something because he mentioned something about his girlfriend, I don't know, or his ex-girlfriend or something like that. But I don't think he fully understood the point of the post. But what I was trying to portray is I can look like that and then literally one second after I can look 10 kilos heavier. And that's reality. You can make yourself look all nice and put together, wear high-waisted tights, which is what every single person would do. Like as if, like he basically said, I will support her if she wore her leggings like the second photo around. Firstly, I don't think it's appropriate and it's not realistic. No one's gonna walk around like that. I get what he's saying, but it's, it's not realistic. My point that I'm trying to prove is I look good. I look like I don't really have any rolls or body fat. Everything seems so like, you know, but in reality, like pull down those tires. I've got fat, like everyone's got it. That's, that's my whole point of the post. Everyone's got it. Just because I'm uploading a photo like that, it doesn't mean I don't have it. And I feel like it is important to show that I just have a normal body, even though I'm online and I'm exposed to hundreds of thousands of people. I feel like it's important to show that because I got so many messages saying I needed to hear this today. Glad that that could help some of you guys and I'm gonna be more conscious and try maybe upload something like that, but I'll try and think of like other ways every week on my Instagram. So I'm gonna, yeah, make a conscious effort to do that because you guys seem to love it. I just wanted to address that first. Um, except for old mate that didn't get the point, but I, after reading his comments, he's obviously going through something with his ex or whatever. And yeah, something's triggered and yeah, which led him to post that comment, but whatever. Um, I haven't tanned, is something wrong with me? I'm just giving it a break. Look how freaking pale I am. Oh, you can't even tell. Honestly, I was looking at myself in the mirror and I was like, okay, I'm usually like so tanned. I'm not tanning this week. I don't know why, I'm just, I'm embracing my pasty skin. No, but really I need to still get off some of my tan that I've got on my elbows, it's fucked. 
soft. It's like so crusty. Um, what do I have to do today? I need to go to the post office, drop off the parcels. I need to pack a few this morning. I need to pick up some parcels. And yeah, I've got PT later on this afternoon. I need to put the washing away, clean the house a little bit. And yeah, I just thought I'd jump on and say good morning, happy Monday. And I will catch up with you guys later on today. Guess what just arrived? Oh, hundreds of phone charms. How cute. I made a little change on them. So they're pretty much the same, except I changed a bead. I didn't realize they had a little mushroom bead. How cute is that? But everything else is the same. So same, same except for the mushroom. And then this is a Varsity phone case, which I changed because I changed the phone charm. So yeah, they'll be live. Plus, let's see what else I got. Plus the Nadia anklets, which is the thin ones, angel pendant necklace. We also will have the letter charms in gold vermeil, rose gold vermeil and sterling silver, finally. I don't know what took so long, but we finally will have them. And the pearl chokers and the Amore rings. Oh my God, so many good stuff that are going back up. Pretty sure that's it. Oh, and some everyday necklaces which were out of stock. So yeah, they will be up on Thursday, 4 p.m., even though you'll be seeing this after. So hopefully I have enough. And if I do sell out of the phone charms, which I highly doubt because I ordered 300 this time. Um, yeah, if they do sell it, I'll be very shocked, but I don't think they will. So yeah, they'll be on the website by the time you are watching this. So I just thought I'd do a quick PSA. I'm so excited um, to finally have some of the stuff restock because I get so many emails. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go get dressed and I need to go pick up something from the post office and I need to finish packing orders actually, which I was meant to do before, but I got carried away in that package. Oh my God, I'm so happy. How cute is it? Okay. I need to go. Everything will take everything out of its packaging and I have a 20% off discount code which I'll leave on the screen shop Jasmine 20 I literally used that code the other day to buy that denim jacket which I will show you guys when it comes it'll probably come like literally by tomorrow or the next day the shipping is so quick like the quickest I've ever experienced from an online shop it's amazing and they're in the Gold Coast and I'm in Perth and it comes in literally two days which is literally unheard of um, usually it takes like just under a week to get fr anything from like over east over here. So yeah, their shipping is seriously so quick. Okay, let me show you guys what I got. I'm so excited. Just saying, I've never done a haul without a tan on. I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm just gonna rock it. So I'm gonna try on some of the pieces. I'm so excited for this bomber. I got it in like a larger size okay i love that i thought it was going to be too big so i got this in medium to large it's the georgia cropped puffer jacket in beige imagine this with literally anything how cozy does it look and it actually does feel super warm i didn't really get it to pair with this outfit but i mean you could definitely if you guys don't already know i'm obsessed with flowy pants like this 
They've got pockets, which I didn't actually realize. I love this set so much. And like I said, you could just pair it with anything, even like an oversized denim jacket would look super cute. Okay, can we talk about these shoes? They're not slippers. Like, I mean, I would literally wear these at the house and I was going to buy something so similar. Don't ask me where from or the price, <laughs> but I just decided to get these instead and they are so comfy and soft. I'm so glad I ended up getting them. I did actually get them a size bigger than I normally would. So I'm usually a size seven, but I got a size eight just because I wanted a little bit extra room. And I'm actually glad that I did because I feel like the eight fits me really well. Um, so yeah, got those as well, obsessed. Oh, these are cute. Also got these pants. They are actually really flattering. Just to pair with any sort of crop top. I mean, you could wear it with this top even, but any sort of crop top. And I thought it would look really cute with this puffer jacket. Well, it gives off a very nice neutral nude vibe. That's the back. Oh, it makes your bum look good. I ended up getting a size 10 in this. Usually in Princess Polly, I'm either a, I would say 10. Like I would just say 10 fits me everywhere. In tops, in pants, in jeans, I'm a 10. The cotton tops that I have, which is their basic crops, the cotton ones, I'm an eight because they're very stretchy. Um, they're like my favorite basics from Princess Polly. They've got so many good cropped basics. But yeah, I just love this outfit together. And then I've got something that I guess was influenced by people on Instagram because I would never normally, you know, go for something like this or an outfit like this. So I'm going to try it on and you have to let me know if you think it suits me because I, I'm not sure. Like it looks good on other people, but on me, I don't know. Okay, I feel like if I was tanned, this would look so much better because there's so much white going on. I don't really have like a skirt which was modeled on the website with this outfit to go with it. So I just used some bike pants, but I obviously wouldn't wear it with bike pants, but I needed something to go underneath it because it was too, sh it'd be too short to wear as a dress, but that's the vibe. I feel like with cool hair and makeup and shoes, and a tan, this could be styled really cool. But I do love the look of it, especially all over Instagram. It's kind of like an effortless, casual, chic kind of look with the vest. I am liking the vest. I might even wear it by itself, to be honest. And then I got these sunnies. I thought that was super cool with the yellow lens. Again, I think that would look better with like hair and makeup done and like a full completed outfit, depending on like what you're wearing. They're not really like a pair of sunnies that you just chuck on day to day. I feel like you need like a certain outfit to pull it off. I actually really love them. Even with this outfit, just imagine my hair and makeup done, okay? We've got one last thing, which is a jumper and I am obsessed with it. Lastly, I just got this zip up hoodie in brown. I'm obsessed. It's got a hood. I got it in an oversized size. Yeah, I got a size 12 in it. By the way, this top is also from Princess Polly. And that's it, it's super warm and you could literally just chuck it on over top of anything because it's starting to get cold. That's everything that I got and I will leave my discount code on the screen if you guys wanna get 20% off. But yeah, like I said, Princess Polly is like one of my go-to favorite online stores. I absolutely love them, I love working with them and they're just amazing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm gonna go put all this stuff away. I'll talk to you guys a bit later on. Okay, I don't know why I'm filming this, but here's a little reminder to clean this part of your dryer. I didn't even know you had to clean it every three months and we've been living here for a year. So I'm gonna vacuum this shit. Ooh, that's not coming out. Maybe I need to wipe it. So I just took this part out and rinsed it, which went on top, but like, I'm guessing you need to clean that as well. That's fucked. <gasps> okay, let me clean that BRB. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. I was meant to go to the gym yesterday. It didn't go because there was a plumbing issue. So Haley was like, just come tomorrow. The gyms are still closed. Well, just my gym. Like, that doesn't mean that we can't go to another gym. It's like so far for both of us. But I'm just contemplating whether to go to Pilates instead or like trek to the other good life and just do steps or like try and do a session there, but how inconvenient. But anyways, um, I saw this on TikTok last night, like what the actual fuck? I'm gonna have to take the music off, but permanent concealer. What do you mean? Hold on. Um, 
oh, I can't go onto the page, but it actually, like what I went onto the page and had a look at the other stuff and it actually kind of worked, but like surely that can't be good for you. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send that video to mom and be like, oh my God, look what I'm getting done today. She is going to freak because she'll believe me. She would believe I would do something like that. I'm going to send it to her and be like, guess what I'm getting done today? No, what should I say? That sounds believable. I'll say something like, um, hold on, let me just put you up. I'm gonna say, did you see this video on my Instagram? On my Instagram yesterday. How cool is it? I've I'm going today to get it done. Love hot eyes. <laughs> she, she's gonna call me straight away, I reckon. Like she won't even attempt to reply. And if she does, I'll just keep declining until she says something. <laughs> she's literally the most gullible person ever. Let's see how long it takes her to read it. She works at an office, so usually her phone's like right next to her unless she's on it. Cause she usually reads my messages like straight away. I'll say, imagine not having to ever do concealer again. Love hard eyes. <laughs> By the way, I would never do that. Like just imagine like what the fuck is in it to like, permanently stain your skin like that like what i would never and if anyone has ever had that procedure done can you comment down below because that's mind-blowing to me i've never seen that in my life before i actually had a, a few dm replies saying oh my god um yeah that's an actual real thing like as if they've known about it what do you She's just taking it all in. She's not replying unless she's busy and she's just like freaking out. I booked in to, <gasps> she's replied, that's not right. Then they don't show the end result and why on a man? Why not? Oh, I thought she'd be funnier. Mum, be funnier. <laughs> Anyways, um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I'm gonna book into a chair class at Pilates. So they've got these new contraptions I booked in for 10 o'clock, which is weird because usually you're not able to book in on the same day because they're always like filled. Um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like, but I'm actually so excited to try something new. So it's called, I might even try and bring or try and film on my phone, but this is what it looks like. Hold on, where's, I'm not sure how well you can see that, but how cool is that? Doing that today at 10 o'clock instead, which should be fun. Um, I need to upload my Pacific Fair post. What else do I need to do today? Um, I need to uh, reply to a few emails, send some invoices. I need to pack some orders and drop them off to the post office. I'll make some brekkie. And do what I need to do and then head to a chair class. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Okay, so there's 40 grams in each serving, right, of oats. And sometimes I have 40, sometimes I have 50 grams. The last serving was 40 grams. Honestly, how good is that? How freaking satisfying. For the chocolates, I don't have any more dairy-free chocolate, but like I can't waste these. I've got a couple of blocks. Obviously they are still like amazing. They just obviously have dairy in it, which I'm trying 
not to have as much of because I feel like it's a trigger for my acne and skin like you saw what my skin looked like when I got back from Queensland and literally since I've been cutting out dairy again my skin's cleared up so um yeah I'm I think I'm gonna actually do this dark chocolate Valencia orange one from well naturally um I can't have the whole bar of this because I shit myself literally I know that's TMI but fuck me dead <laughs> I don't know it just goes straight through me so I'm just gonna have one block of this um yeah this one's got dairy in it as well but still really good like these were my go-to keto chocolate alternatives this one's a bit more expensive but honestly just tastes like normal milk chocolate it's amazing and i love the white chocolate and then this one you can just get from woolies it's the well naturally but like i said don't have too much of it because you will shit your pants <laughs> same with the um atkins ones like one time i had like four bars and i yeah i couldn't get off the toilet so <laughs> yeah i'm gonna finish making this by the way, I'm wearing my Remy tight, which I think she's restocking. How nice are they? I love her leggings. That's what the back looks like. I wear a medium, no way. I wear a small in her leggings and a medium in the tops. I love it. And then this um, cotton tank is just from Lorna Jane. And then this is a Sarsky, um, they're toweling little jumper, so. Yeah, I'm going to finish making these off. Ooh, that looks a bit off. Should be all right. Holy shit guys, I just finished a chair class and I absolutely loved it. I'll include some clips because I managed to film on my phone. I don't even know why I put this jumper back on. Um, yeah, I managed to film some clips on my phone, so I'll put them on the screen. Holy shit, it's hard. I feel like if I hadn't been doing reformer, I would have not been able to do that. Like that was so hard, but I literally, yeah, I loved it. I can't wait to book in more classes. So yeah, I'm about to go home now. I might actually have a little protein shake. I kind of feel like one. And then um, I have an eyebrow appointment today. I think I'm gonna get either just a wax and tint or possibly lamination because I feel like my brow lamination's kind of like weared off. And I'm actually really surprised. I feel like it didn't damage my eyebrow hairs. I feel like I've heard stories where lamination have like kind of thinned out and like killed eyebrow heads but i haven't really found that problem um at all so i might get that done again today because i really like the effect of it or i might just get a thread because your girl is looking hairy af anyways um i also need to pack some orders and i'll post them on the way back and then i think i'm going to go to the gym and just get my steps in because i feel like i haven't been very active today other than that so I'm gonna go get my steps in because I am trying to aim for at least 10k steps a day that's my plans so I will I'll show you guys what my eyebrows look like when they're done just driving through Macca's drive through I just got my eyebrows done I'll show you guys after but I'm just craving ever since I went to Queensland we got Macca's coffees a lot and they use milk labs and that's like my favorite almond milk and I just feel like it today so I'm gonna order a coffee. Hi, can I today? Hi, can I please just get a iced almond milk latte decaf? Yeah, what size? Small, please. Yeah, anything else? Uh, no thanks, and no sugar syrup in that as well. Is that yep. Right on now? Thank you. Honestly, it can't even taste the difference between normal and decaf at Macca's like their decaf is so good sometimes it makes me wonder is it actually decaf okay hold on ah uh, no thank you thanks 
Hi. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Have a Got the coffee. It's so cute. Should have put my own um <coughs> coffee cup. Do they do that at Macca's? Like if you bring your own reusable cup, can they make a coffee in it? Yum. Honestly, don't even know if that's decaf or not. YOLO. Also bought these from the shops. I just went to the shops. Look at my eyebrows. They look really dark, but she did tint them a bit. But they will fade. But how good. I love this kind of lamination. It's not too hectic. Like, I don't like the spiky look. I still like... My brows to be a brow shape not like I've been zapped love it I'll leave where I go down below as well it's called fade brow stylist in Joondalup actually feel like an acai bowl for some weird reason I keep seeing photos of it on my Pinterest um, when I scroll through so I'm gonna make one I actually bought the actual packs um, of a size so let's see how that goes I can't even remember the last time I made actual proper Acai. No, actually, I feel like it wa wasn't that long ago. Um, but I just haven't made it with the packs. I've just made it with mixed berries. So I'm excited to see how that goes. So I will show you guys when I make it. Okay, I've made my acai bowl. Not going to lie. Probably could have made it a bit thicker. But the actual acai itself tastes like just cafe. Mmm. Tastes like cafe aside. This is one that I bought. Eight dollars for four sachets. A bit expensive, but yeah. And then the granola that I got, I'm not sure if I would recommend it. It's very like like a rich coffee flavour. It's alright. I pretty much just chose the one with like the least amount of sugar. Hmm. It's not bad. It's hitting the spot. It's definitely hit the spot. I'm happy about that. And I've just put a sigh on my jumper. Sweet. So yeah, I'm going to finish this and then pack some orders. Peter's going to be home soon. And then I might go to the gym with him and do some steps. Because I feel like I haven't got my steps in today you know so yeah good morning everyone happy wednesday i just finished up at the gym we did a new uh we've got like a new training program and i freaking like loved it slash hated it i don't really like bulgarian split squats they freaking burn they're probably my least favorite exercise but we did hip thrust when that's probably one of my favorite exercises although i felt really weak today because i haven't done it in four weeks so we do like different um exercises every four weeks in the last four weeks we did hip thrust but with a dumbbell this time it's with a bar and i hadn't done it yet for four weeks and i felt weak but hopefully we can build up again but yeah it was a really good session and i need to prepare for tomorrow's restock so i've got to load up all of the um letter charms which is going to be so time consuming because we're going to have them in gold rose gold vermeil and sterling silver so right now i'm actually wearing the m gold vermeil for mum mum's name is maria it's really cute um, and you can put them on your huggies as well but if you want a little letter necklace if you have a necklace already you can just pop the charm straight on them or you can put them on the everyday or the cuban chain i've got the cuban chain on now which is a more solid chain i think i prefer it more but if you want something like really fine then that's the everyday chain but um yeah these will be restocked as well and the angel pendant necklace which i didn't think would sell out so we've got some more of them as well but i'll show you guys i'm gonna make a reel to 
today I think and do like a little um, jewelry reel and like put like take all of these piercings out and like make a cool fun reel and pop them all back in because I haven't actually done one of them I just again I don't have the time to be doing that I feel like I should hire like a social media like content creator or something to do fun little videos so if you think you have what it takes or you can do like cool little reels then um, email me um, at the Jazz Handmade email. I think it's just like info at jazzhandmade.com or DM me, whatever, if you feel like you are, yeah, if you're good at content creation and you can make fun things like that, then let me know because I feel like those kinds of posts on social media always tend to either go viral or go well in terms of sales. I actually love TikTok as well and I'd love to yeah, get someone to do um, TikToks as well because they really do help businesses. Um, I just, again, I don't have the time to be doing that for my brand, but I'm, I definitely look into hiring someone that um, is good at it. So if you know of anyone or if you think you are the one for that then definitely email me so yeah like i was saying before i need to load up all of the um letter charms and it's going to be really time consuming because there's obviously 26 letters in three new materials so unfortunately you have to do it one by one so i've got to do it 26 times times three individually there probably is a way but i'm a bloody shopify noob so who bloody knows um but yeah that's what i'll be doing majority of the day I just went to the P.O. box and this is what I got. This was actually from Korea, I think, or Paris or something, which is really cool. I think it's Korean beauty, but it's made in Paris. Made it, no, <laughs> made in Korea from a company in Paris. Um, thank you so much, super random, never heard of this brand. If you have, let me know. I've heard really good things about Korean beauty products. Um, so it's a clay mask. Actually, they're both masks. Overnight vitalizing mask and clarifying mask. And then I got a massive package from Sephora, I think. It says it on the um, top. But, oh my God. Wow. Okay. There is a lot in here. Let me undo this and show you guys. Okay, so the card says, um, when you see the clean at Sephora seal, you'll know that these products are formulated without sulfates, parabens, mineral oil, and more. So it's like clean makeup, which is kind of cool. I love these kinds of totes for shopping, by the way. So let's see what we've got. Oh my God, I love this brand for SPF. I actually use the like serum version every morning in my skincare routine. Never seen that. I'm just gonna go really quickly. Zoeva, I didn't even know they did face masks. What? Um, a Zoeva palette. I love their brushes. We've got some Sephora stuff. Oh my God, there's so much stuff in here. Just when I thought I had so much makeup and skincare. Ooh, I actually have this, which I bought from um, Adore Beauty. Um, I didn't really give it much of a go, but yeah, apparently it's really good. Another Zoeva palette. I might have to put, I'm gonna do a beauty giveaway 110% because I've got so much stuff. So I might have to put a couple of these. Ooh, I haven't tried this. Wait, have I? I love that brand, Wishful. Um, Glow AHA Tonic. Oh my God, there's so much stuff in here. Thank you so much, Sephora. Cora Organics. Is that Miranda Kerr's brand? Okay, that's good as well. Is this Ole Henriksen? Oh my God, there's so much in here. Thank you so much, Sephora, um, for sending that across. I honestly was gonna film doing my makeup, but someone's building something, earth moving. I don't know, but it's so loud and annoying. So I'm just gonna do a little time lapse instead. I'm just gonna do something quite basic. Oh, they've stopped. They've stopped. Yay. Okay. Well, I'll talk until it turns on again. So yeah, I'm just going to do my makeup. I'm just going to do something quite soft. I really want like a glowy look. So I'm not going to put too much powder on my face. I'm just going to set underneath my eyes with a translucent powder, just a little bit like that. I don't even want to set my face. I'm going to use a cream blush. I'll zoom up a bit so you can see a bit better. This is the Jouer one. I actually really like it. 
on my cheeks. So I'm just going to put that. It looks crazy, but it blends out really nice. And then where is my cream bronzer? I decluttered so much makeup. I don't even know where it is. Okay, I feel like that just took off my foundation. I need to buy more cream blushes. Okay, and then this is just the Bobbi Brown foundation stick in nat neutral almond. And I'm just going to contour with it. Bit down my nose. Jaw. And then blend. I don't even want to set it with the powder. I just kind of want to keep it like this. What good timing for that noise to end. Okay. That looks quite good. I feel like I need a little bit more color on my cheeks. I do really like this Napoleon blush actually. It's in the shade Hybrid Veil Blush Rose. It's this one. It's like really pink. Just like on the apples. I feel like when you're taking photos and videos, you can't really see blush. So I'm going to put like a bit more on than what I normally would. Like if I was to go out, just so you can see it a bit more on like camera. I love blush recently. Oh my God, I forgot about this palette. I'm going to, actually, I might use this blush shade. It's the new Anastasia. Oh, that's really nice. It kind of gives me a little bit of a, what happened there? A bit of a um, glow. Like it's got like little shimmers in it. That's really nice, actually. Um, I'll try the bronzer too. I completely forgot about this palette. I'm just going to put it on the end and just... Oh, this is quite a dark shade. Okay. Let's just only add a very teeny bit. I feel like I've got a lot of blush on. Maybe too much. But no, I think it will look good in photos. Which is pretty much what I'm doing it for. Highlighter, I may as well just use this one. I really like this uh, setting spray from Benefit. Put that on. And then highlighting brush. This is my favorite. It's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is actually a really nice like palette to travel with. Whoa. That is nice. If you've got textured skin, don't put highlighter on top of that because it's just going to emphasize the texture underneath. So you want to try and put it on parts of the skin that you don't have texture. And if you do have very textured skin, I would honestly skip highlight, especially if it's on your cheeks, because it's just going to bring like the texture to the surface of the skin. And that is not cute. So I used to literally lather my face in highlighter when my skin... Oh. I forgot to blend that out when my skin was really bad and it literally made it look worse and I didn't even realize. Love that for me. Cupid's bow. I don't really like too much on it. I feel like it looks like a bit like a milk moustache. I don't put it like on these parts, just kind of like on the lip. But then I think it's pointless because you just like I overline my lips anyway, so you can't even see it. So it's a bit of a waste of time. I'm just going to go on with this bronzer because I really like the shade. Um, and if you don't really have a nice like crease or transition color just use your bronzer honestly like look how nice that looks i'm just gonna do like a wash of brown color this is the zoeva luxe powder fusion brush just chuck that in the crease just be real messy with it that's not meant to be perfect it's just to give your eyes a bit of depth definition Make sure you blend it like out towards the eye. Otherwise it'll close the eye up. So you want to like bring product to the side of the eye as well and blend it that way. 
you know, it'll just open up the eye a bit more. Let's take the brown Huda Beauty palette. I really like this. Take the brown and just smudge it on the top lash line. It kind of gives an illusion that your lashes are fuller than they are. So I'm just going to do that. You only need like the littlest bit. And then mascara. I'm just going to curl my lashes first. This is honestly a vital step in making your lashes look nice and long. This one is from, I think it's from Makeup Geek, but you can literally just get them from Priceline. They're so cheap. Wait, let me just double check. Yeah, Makeup Geek. So I just kind of put it on the eye and then just do a few pumps until you can see it literally curl. This Anastasia Beverly Hills one, honestly, it's amazing. I'm pretty sure you can get this from Sephora. I don't think Mecca have it actually. Do they stock ABH? I don't think so. But it honestly is so good. I'm actually running low on this. But I do about two to three layers. Like that's the trick. I'm going to do one eye. Let me just get the camera out. I'm going to do one eye and show you guys the difference because it's honestly amazing. I feel like you could do this with any mascara you have. Like... Just do heaps of layers because the more you layer, the thicker they get. Okay, I'm just going to let that dry because you need to let it dry and then go in with another layer. How good do my brows look? I love them. They're just a bit too dark right now for my liking, but they will fade because it's just tinted. I'm going to take some bird shit. If you know, you know. Put it on the inside of my eyes because I'm still not over this. It's the Australis Metallics Eyeshadow in Amy White, White House. And then I go in with the MAC Vanilla Pigment, which to be honest, I think I've lost. But I think I'm just going to go in with this um, highlighter shade just to set it. It really opens up the eyes and I'm going to grab a bit and put it underneath my brow bone. It's very similar to the Too Faced Better Than Sex, like the wand. Like, look at the difference. And that's just with two coats. It literally looks like I've got fake lashes on. How's my face to hand color difference? <gasps> I literally just put my like normal tan foundation shade on. So I think I'm just gonna wear a top. I also brought it down to my neck. I still haven't tan. I'm still white as a ghost. I might actually tan tonight. I don't know. Well, maybe not. I honestly can't be bothered. And yeah, I don't really need to tan, take photos and videos today because like I said, I've just put on my normal tan shade foundation and blended it down to my neck. Catfish at its finest. I'm not wearing any earrings except for my conch because I can't take it out. I even took out my tragus. Look how... Bare my ears look. I feel so weird without earrings. You, I think I might just put my hair in a slick bun. Maybe have a bit of hair out like that or maybe even like this. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, Lippy, I use this combo in a recent Rimmel video that I uploaded. I think it was this one. What's the color? Rimmel. No, I don't think it was this color. It's very nude. It wasn't this color, but this one's really nice as well. It is called, oh wait, no it is, tiramisu. Yeah, I did use this one. I thought it said something else. It's kind of like really close to my lip color. Um, oh My Gloss Plump in Spiced nude. It's like a really nice brown, like a brownie combo. Yeah, that's my makeup done. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair or what top I'm gonna wear, but it'll probably be like a long sleeve. I don't know. I still have to figure that out. But yeah, I need to figure out where I'm gonna film as well. Um, and yeah, start filming the reel. I'll show you guys if it ends up good.
Guys, look at my house. <gasps> There's shit everywhere, but I just finished shooting slash um, taking photos. I just filmed a little reel. Oh, did that work? Oh my God. No, I don't want to download a crypto app. So many ads for it. Every time you Anyways, um, yeah, I'll show you guys some of the photos, but I did like a little um, mirror selfie type thing. I forgot that I had this mirror. So I was like taking a selfie here and then that was in the background. It was kind of cute. I really want a mirror like that in my hallway or even there would look really cool, like hung up. Riley's got one and it looks so nice in her house, but I think it would look really cute here. I also really want that like swirl mirror but that's not happening because it's like $10,000. Maybe I can try and find a cheaper one. Surely there's a dupe or something, but um, yeah, I really love like the swirly vibe at the moment. Um, okay, I'll show you my reel. I haven't actually eaten today. I didn't have, I was gonna have a protein shake after gym, but like I just wanted to get straight into doing this content. So now I'm gonna pack away and upload all the new um, materials onto the website because I know that'll take a while. And then tonight, later on, I'll go through the photos and stuff and edit them. But yeah, this is just the makeup. I also decided to change my lip color because I just wasn't feeling the brown. I just lined it with the same lip liner and then just went over it with a lip gloss. This is what's currently in my ears. Super cute. Right, so this is the pearl necklace. This is the letter charm and then the angel pendant, even though I'm pretty sure I showed you guys that. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I'll show you guys the reel when I finish it as well. Okay, I'm gonna make this for lunch, which is what I got the other day. It's butter chicken curry. I'm kind of scared that it's gonna be spicy because it says add curry sauce. But anyways, I've got it in the pan. So that's chicken and then pumpkin. And then it just says, wait until that's cooked and then literally just add the sauce, which is this. So I'll let you guys know how it tastes and if it's worth it. But yeah, it's just super quick and easy. If you're time poor, you just CBF like me. I mean, I've got all the time in the world right now to cook a meal, but I just can't be asked. Okay, the verdict on the butter chicken. By the way, it's not dairy free. So I love that for me. Ooh. Oh my God, it's spicy. Oh, it'd be mild, but I'm a pussy with spice and I can't, I literally can't deal. Let me try the chicken. Mm. I do like it. It's really tasty, but yeah, not dairy free. I just completely forget sometimes when I'm shopping because I forget, but I've been good. I also made some brown rice with it. Okay, I need to go and upload all of this new stuff to the website now. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Hi guys, good morning, happy Thursday. I just went and saw my naturopath. Sorry if my eyes look a bit puffy. I had a bit of a cry. Um, yeah, I'll, I'm sure I'll speak about it soon, but um, I wanted to update you on like the vitamins and stuff that she um, prescribed for me. So I've been having pretty shit sleep lately, not gonna lie, um, yeah. I don't know. I just, I've been having trouble getting to sleep. I guess like a lot's been on my mind. Just, I don't know. I've just been thinking a lot when I'm trying to fall asleep, which is not good. So she's given me the sachets, like magnesium sachets. That's the brand. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it's just a short term thing. Um, 
And then she also gave me, oh, she gave me one of these as well. This with dinner and then one tablet bef one hour before I go to sleep. I'm going to have to check um, on the email. And then she's also given me another oral powder for my skin. Um, just because I'm still getting a few breakouts every now and again you probably can't really see but like i would say my skin has improved so much but i'm still getting pimples and blemishes and i'm like getting texture again like on my forehead for who knows what reason i've tried to cut as much dairy out even though i haven't really been the best recently like yesterday's lunch i had um that butter chicken and i had like obviously the sauce had cream in it um, so yeah, I just need to be more conscious of that because I feel like it's a trigger for my skin, but she's also given me this because apparently the results are incredible. Um, and she really wanted me to try it. So I'm pretty sure it's just one teaspoon in with a drink or you can have it on its own, but she said it tastes a bit chalky. So she said just to have it with my Genora. So yeah, I'm just going to mix in one of those every day and see if that makes a difference. Um, so yeah. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, I just wanted to update you guys because you guys seem interested. But yeah, she is honestly incredible. I'll leave her Instagram down below if you're from Perth. She's in City Beach. Um, it's called the Perth Health and Fertility Center in City Beach. But it's like obviously her in that clinic, if that makes sense. Um, I need to go pick up a parcel actually. And I think it might be Stax um, because they're dropping premium seamless for I think next Friday but they're having the premiere tonight um, which I wasn't able to go to because I just got back from Queensland I didn't want to like go out of routine again just for like one event or like all that flying for a couple of hours might be a bit silly because I just literally went to the Gold Coast so yeah I won't be at the event but I will obviously show you guys when I can actually I will show you guys when I get home if it is it because obviously this will be up after the launch or like the what's it called the screening of the colors so yeah I'm gonna go get that I'm putting all the items up for the restock this afternoon so that should be fun it'll keep me busy for the next few days um, but yeah I just wanted to give you guys an update Oh, mum's calling me. I'll talk to you guys later. Told you it comes super fast. Like, honestly, how quick was that? All right, let's try on this jacket. Kind of looks like pajamas, like the pattern. Cute. I would definitely wear that as like a dress as well. That with boots would look really cute. So I got that. Love. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. I just wanted an oversized denim jacket. And you can obviously like roll up the sleeves if you want. Love. Can't believe I don't even have one in my collection. I probably would have ages ago, but not in my wardrobe. Okay. I'm gonna make something to eat now. I think I'm just gonna have like avo on toast with some egg maybe, um, just something quick and simple. I might even start taking my new stuff to this one in my Genora. That's what it's called by the way. For my skin, I'm pretty sure. Calcium D glucurate, glucurate? Anyways, I'll give it a go and report back, I guess in a few weeks. Um, yeah, I have still got so much to do before the launch. Well, not launch, restock. I obviously have to like update the inventory and everything. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that, but I need to eat first because I'm starving, but I will keep you guys updated anyways. Oh my God, my hand to face color ratio. Cause I obviously have like a darker foundation and I blend it down. It kind of like blends in with like my shoulders and it like progressively gets lighter and lighter. <laughs> okay, I will talk to you guys later.
morning, everyone. Oh, I'm just opening all the blinds. I just got back from the gym. I'm looking super pasty. I didn't even put any tanning drops on my face last night. But firstly, I'm so sore. Like I could barely even get out of bed this morning because I forgot that we started a new program. So all new exercises, new weights. My legs are so sore, but this just arrived today and I personally don't even know what the colors of, where's my scissors? I'm gonna have to use a knife. I actually don't know what the new colors are. They've kept it like top secret. They didn't even tell any of the people that they work with. Obviously like the people on set, no. 10 new colors. I don't know if they've sent me all 10 because it feels quite light, maybe they have, but I'm literally, Okay, I can see a pink. Okay, first color is a baby pink. Oh my God, cute. So if you don't know what Seamless is, basically I'm actually wearing, um, I can't remember what collection this one was from, but it's like one of my favorite colors. This is the waistband, obviously Seamless. They just hug you in all the right places. They're one of my favorite collections, I think. I have to say, yeah, this color and umber is my favorite ever from seamless oh and jade's really nice so yeah new colors so this one what's the color of this one taffy pink which is super cute i wear um i used to wear a size small but i'm liking the medium fit in the sports like in the crops oh they've sent me a small actually it does feel quite stretchy so we've got that color what's this is this the same thing Okay, they've sent me a small, okay, they've sent me a small and a medium. <laughs> Love that. Okay, so we've got that color. Oh my God. This color's so nice. It's like a muted green, but it also looks a bit bluey. I love that so much. Okay, I'm loving the look of this so far. Oh, and then we've got another brown. This one's cute. This one kind of, yeah, I think this one's similar to the original's um, raw umber color. So it's literally a chocolate brown in Seamless. Love that. We've got a blue. I think they actually have sent me one of each color. We've got a blue, like a navy royal blue. Cute. I'll show you guys what the colors all look like after this. And I think this is black. Yeah, so black's coming back. Black. Oh, this color's nice. Is it different? It is slightly different. It's like a different shade of brown. It's kind of like an olive. What's the actual color? Birch brown. I'll show you the difference. They're very similar, but also like different, <laughs> obviously. So that's the raw umber. I'm not actually sure if it's called raw umber, but this is, yeah, the darker brown and this one's a lighter brown. It's definitely looking more olivey um, on camera than it is. Like it looks almost khaki. Oh, we've got a khaki. I love this color scheme. Khaki. Oh, we've got a nude as well, which I think is the same color as the original's nude. This one's really nice. It's a little bit deeper than the previous, I think it was like bone from one of the last seamless collections. It's just a bit more like deeper in color, like darker. So we've got that, okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Did they say 10 colors? Taffy, ivory, clay, birch, bark, dovetail, trench, newt, forest, ban banter. Okay. I think there's more colors, but they might be just, okay, here we go. A charcoal. Oh my God, this is so fucking nice. I love this one. <gasps> it's like a dark charcoal color. Holy shit. Okay. I'm missing clay. Is this clay? There's three like brownie colors. Yep. Okay. 
So this is very similar. Okay, I'm gonna have to show you guys because they all are so similar, but also very different. And they're so nice. So these are the three shades of like brown. And then that's the clay. So clay, no, ivory, wait, <laughs> ivory, clay, birch, and bark. Yep, so they're the brownie shades all together. I'll definitely do a try on. I probably will film like an Insta sort of IGTV, but obviously they all come in the strappy crop, which is this. I personally prefer the racer crop. It's just a lot more supportive. I feel like if you've got bigger boobs, this has definitely got a lot more support. These are definitely cuter because they're like thin straps. They look nice and dainty, but like the support personally isn't there for me in hit. And I just thought I'd be honest with that. I do like the look of these as well. You can see the colors. How freaking gorgeous. So these are going live. I'm pretty sure next Friday, May 28th at 9 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Holy crap, I might even do a little try on tomorrow or even Sunday. Um, <laughs> confidential, not for posting, but obviously I can't post on my stories now until tomorrow, but obviously this vlog won't be going live until Monday. But yeah, how freaking exciting. And if you guys wanna use my discount code, thank you so much. It's just JazzH10 and it gets you 10% off. It's an affiliate code as well, which means it supports me as well. So yeah, thank you so much if you decide to use my code. If not, still all good. The active wear is amazing. I love Seamless so much. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would show you guys. I'm gonna go make some brekkie now. I actually was running late. Well, not really running late. She told me the wrong time and she was like, oh shit, are you able to come in like 10 minutes? And I was like still in bed on my phone. So I quickly got up, got dressed and just had a banana on the road. Um, but yeah, I am going to make maybe some protein oats or something like that. Put this stuff away. Actually, I might hang it up, um, because I'll film with it tomorrow. So yeah. Oh, by the way, I had the best sleep last night. Those supplements that my naturopath, um, gave me yesterday were amazing. So I took the magnesium sachet and then like the tablet one hour before. I also did put a few um, lavender essential oil drops on my pillow, which she did recommend as well. Um, and yeah, I went straight to sleep. Like I wasn't like overly tired, um, but yeah, I was in bed by like 10.30 and I wasn't rolling around and I got the best sleep and I woke up at like 7.30. So I had a good sleep. Also, thank you guys so much for shopping the restock yesterday. I've already filled one whole big sack full. I still need to do a couple more from like last night and this morning. Um, but yeah, they're gonna be picked up at around 11. So yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys. I hope you guys love it. And I will chat to you guys later. I'm just packing up some orders and Emily left a note asking if I can pack hers on the vlog. Thank you so much. How goals is this order? So she ordered a bunch of charms that she can put on this necklace. So I just chose the angel. And then we've got a bunch of huggies and other charms as well. A mooring, matching, and dove charm and cloud charm. How cute. Obsessed with this order. Thank you so much. I've done it. I've put a fresh tan on. I actually put it on earlier. And then I just went, I put on this tracksuit, went to the shops, needed to go drop a few things off at the post office, pick up a few things. So I'll show you guys what I got. Also got another coffee. Got myself some tulips. How cute. It's so random. Like Woolworth sometimes has really shit flowers and then sometimes they pull through. But honestly, like pretty flowers just like make my day sometimes. So I like to do it weekly. I'm gonna put this little solution in some water. I'll do that first and I'll show you guys what it looks like. I also bought this because I love trying new chocolate. I'm gonna have some. And Hokey Pokey is like one of my favorite ice cream flavors, even though I don't have it often. There's not many healthy options available, but Fuck off. It 
tastes like caramel crunchy. Not really hokey pokey, but I guess that's what it is. Caramelized white chocolate with honeycomb pieces. Do you know which one that I really like that I've tried? The marble one. Like that is so creamy. I'm not really a fan of caramel. Usually, like I'd probably just rather have um, just normal plain milk chocolate. But that marble one is so good. So, oh my God, Peter's going to love that. All right. I did get this though, like another... This is a gluten-free muesli that I can have with my acai bowls. They're my cute little flowers. How gorge. I'm obsessed with tulips, I think. They're like my favorite flower right now. I already put the food away, but it wasn't really that exciting. It was just like a top up of what we normally would buy plus barramundi. The only reason why I didn't get it last time was because it was out of stock, unfortunately. Okay, just got some more of this sort of stuff. Almond milk. Ready to bake yourself happy. Sure. Oh my God, how cute is this wooden spoon? So it's from Hill Street Bases. They are a clean, less sugar, dairy-free and vegan baking mix. Vanilla, chocolate and choc chunk choc cookie baking mix. Oh my God. Thank you so much for sending them. Please find enclosed pieces from the latest bras and things collection designed for, for our growing community of confidence warriors. Okay. That's a bit cute. You deserve everything. so nice would that fit 12 double d surely that's so nice and then the matching bottoms and then i'm oh gonna go to these pjs <gasps> love i've got like a gray long sleeve top oh my god these look so comfy some gray bottoms oh my god cute Look at these cute little gray, like another sort of type of gray with like pink lace on the side. I love those. <gasps> this cute little crop. Get out. I didn't even know this stuff existed there. And then like a longer sort of tank. Thank you so much. That is so random, but also let me just double check that my name is on here. Yes, it's to me, Jasmine Hand. Just in case they've given me the wrong parcel. If you know, you know. Thank you so much, bras and things. That was actually so nice. Um, I can't wait to try them. I'm definitely gonna 